back to Princess Ella's World and today I'm going to be doing a toy review on this chocolate pen and I've been waiting to do this forever like for so long and now if you are wondering what well, yeah I had a birthday party and we it was 70s theme and we haven't took that down yet because we haven't had time because it was yesterday Okay, so let's just get on into this video. Alright, so you open it up and it looks like that. And then you have your chocolate pen. It's a lot bigger than I expected. Alright, and then you have your molds. I'll show those in a minute. And then you have your caps. Some little packaging stuff. And then your caps and your little lock-ons and your little pin like things you jab in there so they don't like and then you have your awesome four colors of chocolate and it's a really pretty teal blue a super bright pink a kind of creamy white color and like brown like chocolate so yeah you do have to fall these out um let me start in a minute I'm just gonna, you're supposed to do it with water. You put hot water in a bowl and you set them in there. But here's the actual chocolate pin. It's huge. And you need batteries for it. So like, if I can get this undone here. Okay, so I went ahead and got my batteries in so you can hear it right there. Whatever that does, I guess it like pushes it down. But I'm not actually, I'll do that while I'm melting these, but I'm gonna, 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 gonna go ahead and, gonna go ahead and melt my chocolate. I'm gonna melt this one first. And there's like a thin side and a thick side. Actually, I'm not gonna do that yet. I'm just gonna melt them and then do that. Probably a better idea to like melt them before you cut them open. Maybe, I guess. Alright, so I'm just going to melt them and I'm going to show you guys my molds while they're melting. And I have no clue how long they will take because they were like solid off. Alright, so while I'm waiting for my chocolate to melt, I'm going to show you guys what's on the box and what's in it, like the molds of it. And they look really awesome from like on this, like somebody wrote their name. It's really cool. And then the ice cream cone looks awesome. Well, um, butterfly, little bee, little stuff like that. And then, like, back here, there's, like, a unicorn and a cake and an ONG and a cup. Oh, look at that. That is so cute. And that. I love how the smile is not, like, completely perfect on it. It actually looks like someone actually did it, not, like, machined or something. Because usually everything's, like, so perfect, it just looks fake. <laughs> And then there's some on the top, right here, a bunch of different ones. And I'm gonna show you the mold, which is pretty much what's on there. So there's a donut, lips, like a heart key, a big piece of cake, a pretzel, an ice cream cone, a strawberry, a little crown that says Drama Queen, and a little cloud, an OMG, and a little heart, and uh, LOL, love, um, waffle, um, flower, shooting star, little heart with wings, a little music symbol, um, flower, flower, sun, flower, peace sign, star, heart, mushroom, a uh, rainbow, star, um, <laughs> guitar, and the last one, it's like all animals, there's a little mouse, octopus, bumblebee, Whale, penguin, ladybug, unicorn, uh, that little elephant, um, dolphin, squirrel, snail, dog, pig, butterfly. Yeah, I think I got them all. So that's that. And then I didn't check out these. These are like the little things you. I can see you. And then you use these to plug them so your chocolate doesn't go everywhere when you're putting it in your pen. And then you use this to like keep it on there when you're decorating. If I can get it on there, sometimes 
spread up and it says these can be hard to get on but you've seen them on with the plastic over it so it does seem like it could be a little bit hard but i'm gonna go check on my chocolate and i'll be right back all right so they are melted it didn't take long and i actually put them under the sink under hot water because i thought it might work better and i'm going to start with my pink chocolate down chop the top off There we go. Open it up. Oh, it smells like chocolate. Insert that in. Take, actually, I'm going to plug this first a little bit. I'm going to take a, take a closing thingy, pop it on. It can be hard. Almost there. All right, so there we go. It's all plugged up and stuff. So with the plug, it doesn't leak out or anything. So that one went really great and smoothly. I expected that to be a disaster and it didn't even get on my hands like one bit. And now we have chocolate, brown. All right, so now we're gonna do a little bit. Let's open this up. There we go. Insert the chocolate squeeze thingy. Come on, there we go. I'm gonna put the plug it a little bit. I can plug it before we do it, before I even get it on. And now snip it on there. This is probably the hardest part is snapping this. So yeah, make sure you plug it or this will leak all out. Having a little. All right, so I got the um, brown and the pink and I'm gonna do the white and blue off camera now because this gets kind of boring. You guys probably don't wanna see me do all of it. Okay, so I got all the chocolate melted and the cap's on. It was fairly easy. The white one was the hardest because we couldn't figure it out for some reason. So now I'm going to get to make a chocolate. I'll start off with pink. Start off. So I'm gonna keep it in the water when I'm not using it. So it doesn't dry out. And just like... Okay, I had it backwards. That's why I couldn't do it. I got this stuck. Can't do that. Ooh, there we go. Then you gotta push it down once you get it actually pretty easy once you just gotta figure it out and there we go and you can undo this now and eat it <laughs> so now I'm gonna get to making the molds and the first one I'm gonna start out with is probably let's see let's find one that's pretty easy probably these lips right here Come on. There we go, it's starting to come. All right, so I'm just gonna eat this. All right, so I got those done. I didn't do the white teeth because I feel like that might be hard. For my first one so i did that and now i'm going to try to do this plain pink heart right here because i'm not gonna like go really far right now and see like i'm gonna start with the basics there's a little heart there we go that one really doesn't need smoothed there we go <laughs> all righty now i'm going to change the color in this Now it's time to load the white one. So I'm going to make a rainbow and I'm going to start out with the white fluffy clouds. 
It actually seems like it could bust once you get it in there, but it never does. There we go. Wait, I didn't latch that. Oh, wait, I didn't put this on. That's why. <laughs> All right, and I'm gonna take the top off if I can. That white chocolate is so good. And put it in our clouds. And it takes a little while to do it, like the first time. Yeah, yeah, come on. There we go. All right, there's that side. Smooth. Now the other cloud. All right, there we go. Mmm, that rock chocolate is really good. Put the cap on. Okay, so I got my blue ready, and I'm gonna put it right in the center. Takes a little while at first. There we go. All right, time to do the rest of this brown. There we go. It's a little bit thick. Put that down a little bit. There we go. Let me get that out of there. <laughs> Let's get it going. Come on. All right, it's gonna come in just a second. Hurry up! There we go. This is the prettiest color of pink and blue. Just so pretty, I have to do two strokes on this one. Mm -hmm. There we go. There we go, the back doesn't have to look the greatest because the front's what's gonna be shown. Yep, there's the front on that, and it looks pretty good. And when it sets, like, you can, like, kind of bang it down so it'll kind of sink to the bottom. But it looks pretty good and how I want it right now. So I'm just going to make a bunch and I'll show you guys my finished product. All right, so I'm going to make one more on camera, and that's going to be the unicorn. And then I'm going to make the rest off camera and show you guys the rest. Um, at the end and all the finished chocolatey goodness and where's the unicorn here it is so I'm gonna use pink for her hair if I can find it let's look at this picture for this one all right so I've used pink right here for her hair I'm going to start her hair at the bottom so it won't get as messy Right, so it goes all the way over there. And it goes up through here. And back down there. So that's her hair. And then you're going to load it up with some white. But first you're going to smear it out. Because it won't look the greatest if you don't. And I'm going to put some white down there. I'm going to use my finger. <laughs> Alright, so for the little eye, I'm not actually going to use my chocolate pen. Because it is too thick. So I'm going to try this out and see if it works, like some, getting some chocolate on the little holder and just like kind of putting it in there. So it'll get a, give it a little bit of color of brown. Time for white. Get the horn. And you can just go over everything else because it won't really matter because that'll this will be the back. Like the part we're looking at right now, just remember, keep in mind it doesn't have to look great on the back because that won't show like once it's done. Okay. It's on the other side. <laughs> Little unicorn. And I'm gonna do the rest off camera and I'll be right back with my finished product. All right, so here's the finished product. These are what I made. I made an ice cream cone, a heart, a little mouse, a star, a rainbow, a flying pig, a unicorn, a lips, 
and a little flower. So the cutest one is probably the rainbow and the mouse and the ice cream cone. Um, and the unicorn's pretty cute. And the lips look pretty good, but like I'm trying to make teeth and put it back in, but like I didn't do it or good. So I like, try to make try to make it look like one of those videos where like it like made like frosting drip down and then the sprinkles, but and there's my lips. And the one I'm gonna be eating and I'm gonna see how it tastes is this little flower because it came out so perfectly. So I'm gonna eat this one. Mmm. It's really good. It tastes like what brand is that? Um Hershey's white chocolate. It all tastes like white chocolate. It's so good. If I could eat if I could eat more, I would. But then again, I probably wouldn't go to sleep tonight, so I'm not going to, but they're really good. And I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Comment down below, give us a big thumbs up, and subscribe to our channel if you want to keep seeing videos. Bye!